Hello everyone, Joe Neater here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. So first of all, a reminder that Black Powder Sashes is coming out next week on Wednesday the 17th of July. Uh, and this will be a first of us getting back into kind of a regular series of updates to Sea of Thieves. First of all, it's going to be very explosive. Um, and this is all about Duke kind of sending players around the fort in the world, uh, hunting out for gunpowder barrels, for merchant kind of crates, uh, and also stronghold barrels as well that people are going to be able to get uh, as part of this voyage that, that Duke's going to be sending you out on. Um, really looking forward and, and really kind of excited to see how this just kind of freshens up the adventure sandbox and it's really going to drive interesting uh, social interaction between players so really looking forward to this and yeah it's going to be it's going to be fun it's going to be explosive um, and and really looking forward to this one next week so Wednesday 17th of July that's coming out a big focus of this update too has also been around game balancing so there's been a, a, a range of areas that we've kind of taken a balancing pass at the first of those being the hunter's call so the hunter's call will have increased rewards now for when you're cashing in fish or you're cashing in different kind of creatures meats um, so you know we, we've taken a look at that we've taken feedback from all of our players um, and we've counted the amount of times splash towers have been cashed in and uh, decided to increase the reward slightly so you'll see that in the 17th of July update so there's also been a range of difficulty balancing with a couple of highlights of that being uh, the skeleton lords as part of tall tales are now balanced for different crew sizes much better uh, the same with the megalodons and how they attack and interact with different crew sizes and even just the um, the behaviors across the megalodons have had a real pass uh, at them so you'll really see some kind of distinct behaviors out there on the seat now. Um, we've also balanced cursed cannonballs uh, and also really kind of up the rewards a little bit for exploring. So just when you're out there exploring the world, you'll kind of start to see a few more kind of rewards out there. So that's just a very high level kind of overview of some of the balancing, but there's been a big focus on this across kind of all of the game. So I think we'll see just a, re a real change in just how the game feels in terms of balance uh, across a wide range of areas. Uh, obviously, we'll go through this in the build notes themselves when we, when we release the update next week, um, but that's just a kind of high level taster of, of, of what's to come in this. So it was really cool for us to be able to attend Guardian Con uh, last week and to hold another arena competition in the, the Battle for Orlando. It's a bit different to what we did at E3 itself with the kind of quality qualifiers that we had on day one, going into the semis, going into the final on day two. But really cool to be able to, to kind of test that kind of process out and flow out and to, to have people who could just come along and bring a crew and get involved. Like really cool to see that, really cool to see members of our community and the kind of how competitive that uh, a lot of people are in the, in the community and the skill level as well is incredible. And it was, it was really cool to see that. I think I was chatting to John about this and obviously I didn't get to attend, but he said the semi-finals for him were, were like a real highlight as well because you know, that was after the first round of qualifiers, so you'd obviously you'd got good crews through and they were all up against each other just trying to get that one win to get them into the final. And to see the range of competition, to see how close they were, I think like sounds really exciting. And I think as we look to the future for Arena and we look for how we do different tournaments like this again, like like I think we can take what we've learned both from E3 and what we've learned from GuardianCon and apply that to, to kind of future tournaments. So is there a way we can potentially stream the semis as well as the final? Because that's when the kind of competition starts to get really fierce and gets to be kind of really watchable. So yeah, loads to learn from this, but it was it was so cool. I, I, like quite jealous that I didn't get to go. It sounded like they met some great people in the community. They got to watch some great matches some real kind of great personalities and stuff out there. So really cool and I think for the arena, like we we are learning every step of the way, right? This is it's it's super early on in its lifetime. Um, it's really great when it's super competitive and you've got really well balanced crews, and obviously that's how we want the the game to be playing out in the wild. And we know that there's it's not quite there yet, um, and so there's a lot of work we're doing in the background to make sure that we get it to to that same level that we see uh, in these kind of competitions. But this is definitely going to be a big ongoing thing for us with Arena. You know, we we're going to keep doing these competitions. We're going to keep going to shows and and keep getting people playing and watching and just kind of learning and taking feedback, but really kind of seeing how we can make uh, the arena as watchable as possible and as competitive as possible and what the kind of best structure is around this. And it's kind of easy for us to, and I say easy, but like there's lots of work that goes into doing it, but for us to go to a show and hold a competition and um, we can then learn a ton which we can actually apply back into the game itself both in terms of just the core kind of gameplay experience but also how we look to structure kind of things competitively for, for players in the future so loads of value in us doing this 
and like we're we're learning tons uh, from it, and and it's great fun to do. It's great fun to watch. Um, so you're going to see more of this as as we go forward with the arena, and you'll see the kind of fruit of that feedback into the game itself. So you know, there's these two strands definitely for for arena. One is iterating on the gameplay experience everybody gets to play at home, but the other is also continuing to to kind of hold these competitive events and and tournaments and stuff, and and learn as much as we can from that, and really try and drive the kind of watchability of of, of the game upwards with it. So just to talk a little bit more about Guardian Con, because it seemed to be such a cool weekend for everybody that attended. I was obviously, I was watching at home, which was quite unique and quite interesting to see and just kind of watch remotely. And I was kind of messaging John throughout and seeing who was qualifying and was it competitive and how was that whole process going? Because again, it was something new that we were learning, but it, but it came together really well. And it was really great to, uh, to see the final and be able to watch that remotely myself. Um, B Moore did a great job doing the shout casting, which was really cool. I know he was invited kind of during the uh, show itself. And I think he was a little bit nervous going in but I think he did an amazing job representing Sea of Thieves and, and the community and, and the game itself and answering questions from, from the other shoutcasters that were uh, that were watching and perhaps didn't know as much about Sea of Thieves at the start but it was really interesting to see them go on the journey through um, watching the arena kind of learning about it and then by the end going oh this is cool I think I'm going to go and give this a try now like it was it was fun to watch. What was really cool about it was that you know we for the first time we did this qualifying process where people had to get through the first round get through the semis and into the final um, and obviously Burke Burger Warrior and his team uh, went on to win it with a really great performance in the final. It was really cool to see that team come through that um, kind of qualifying process. So one of my favourite stories that John told me actually upon his return from Guardian Con, and I think really encapsulates the kind of just the, the generosity and the giving and the, and the great kind of atmosphere and community spirit that, that Guardian Con was, was as part of the arena um, kind of competition, there was an amazing father and daughter team. I think the daughter was kind of a, a, like pretty young, maybe like like 10, 11 or something, but, uh, and they, they were playing together and they managed to get into the semi-finals and, and everybody was wowed by the skill and the kind of teamwork that they were displaying. And they actually were up against Berger and his team uh, in the semi-final and it was incredibly close. Uh, and Berger's team obviously won out in the end and then went on to win the final. But uh, Gunny, who was part of Berger's team, uh, I think made the pledge that uh, if they did go on to win the tournament, then he would donate his um, Xbox One, the kind of gold-plated Xbox One X that he would win as part of it, um, to the to the little girl that was playing in the in the semi-final and displayed such skill and I think really kind of um, had some amazing kind of PvP skills and just kind of uh, teamwork and an amazing uh, Sea of Thieves skills all up. So I, I'm I, I hear from John that that's going to be happening and he's going to be um, kind of passing on the Xbox One X to her and I think that's just amazing because of that. You know that's it's an amazing prize but but for him to have kind of made that pledge and and, and to be uh, giving that away I think that's amazing and for me yeah, that encapsulates uh, Guardian Con all up really. Not only was it great to be a part of Guardian Con for the first time and for us to be able to show up and have the arena playable, but to be a part of just that amazing fundraising drive for St. Jude's and to be, I think it was during our live stream was the moment that it ticked over kind of $4 million that they'd raised for St. Jude's as part of Guardian Con was, was incredible. And, you know, to, to hear Gathalian last week when he was on our weekly stream with us just talking about where Guardian Con has come from and the growth it's had and the goals that they have around it and how they want to continue raising money for charity and and just continue growing this this event and you know starting starting from nothing themselves was so inspiring and it's just incredible to see that kind of passion and drive um, from people and, and what they've managed to achieve and the impact that they will have had on so many people's lives so it was it was amazing to be part of that we're like so so happy that Gathalian asked us and that we managed to kind of pull something together um, and you know definitely as we look to the future it's something that we'll we'll want to continue supporting and, and partnering with those guys because they, they do incredible stuff so you know thanks so much for allowing us to be a part of it um, and really looking forward to, to the kind of future. So um, I think that's it from me. But uh, as, as always, I'll be back next week with another dev update. And until then, I'll see you on the seas. Cheers. Just wanted to end by saying thanks to Captain Ash Bacon for obviously captaining a crew for us in the Battle for Orlando. Apologies that we had to substitute myself for Che, because uh, you know otherwise I, I assume we would have won, but um, never mind, hopefully I'll be at the next show. But anyway, uh, if you liked today's video, feel free to like, subscribe, and click that little ship's bell. Cheers. Mm -hmm.